Hi guys, today I have kind of a new thing that I'm going to be doing. It's like this new little mini series that I'm going to have, and it's reviews on books. Um, oh, huh, I saw smoke outside my window, but someone has a fire going. Um, it's like I'm going to be reviewing books once a week. I'm going to have a new book to review each week on Sundays. And so this week I'm going to be reviewing Two Way Street. Um, and it's by Lauren B A R N H O or H O yeah B A R N H O L D T. I'll have a little um, annotation like right in this screen somewhere. Um, and it's called Two Way Street. Um, I'll read you the back of the book. It says, "This is Jordan and Courtney, totally in love." Sure, they were an unlikely high school couple, but they clicked. It worked. They're even going to the same college and driving cross-country together for orientation. Then Jordan dumps Courtney for a girl he met on the internet. But it's too late to change plans, so the road trip is on. Courtney's heartbroken, but figures she can tough it out for a few days. La, 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 this is Courtney pretending not to care. But in a strange twist, Jordan cares a lot. Turns out he got a secret, he's got a secret or two that he's not telling Courtney. It has everything to do with why they broke up, why they can't get back together, and how, in spite of it all, this couple is destined for each other. And it says, up on the top, it says, there are two sides to every breakup. This book is, let me look on the back. Two hundred and eighty pages. Um, it was a really good book. It was a fast read for me just because I liked it so much. Um, yeah, and let's see. This book is like that two. It's like two perspective, two perspective book, and because there's Courtney, there's the perspective of Courtney, and then. There's their perspective of Jordan. And these are the two main characters in the book. Um, and then, these arrows, if it's pointing... I don't really remember. Hold on, let me see. If it's pointing to the right in the book, that means it's the perspective of what's going on on the trip. But if it's pointing to the left in the book, it's the perspective of what went on before they went on the trip. So you get the idea, or you get the whole story of what went on. And so it's before the trip, and it says, like, here, 200, or er, 125 days before the trip, 9.02 p.m. So it gives you the time and when, like, the time of, like, how many days before the trip, or, like, if it's on the trip, and, like, the trip, day one, 9.12 a.m. And then, like, if I flip to, like, the middle of the book, there's still 123 days before the trip, 12.23 p.m. Or, um, come on. No, this is still day one. I still, I need day, like, three or day two. This is over, this book is over three days. This is before, well, this is 77 days before on page, like, 160, 76. Can we please get to, like, day two, 5.06 p.m. See, it's over three days' time, but they have the before, too, so it stretches it out far. Okay, summary of the book. This is my first one, so it's kind of rambly. I'll have it, I'll, like, lay it out, written out for my next one. Okay. This book is about a girl named Courtney and a guy named Jordan. And they were in high school. It's their senior year, and... They went out for, I think it was like five months, and then they were going to go on a road trip because they're both going to Boston University, and they were going to drive up there together so they didn't have to go up by themselves or anything, and like three weeks, or like two weeks before the trip, Jordan breaks up with Courtney, but their parents still are making them go on a trip, and so it, the whole book is about them on the trip and what happens before the trip and why Jordan broke up with him, broke up with Courtney and how Courtney feels about Jordan, how Jordan feels about Courtney and what else happened. And then there's two other characters in the books. 
and that is BJ, which is Jordan's best friend, and Jocelyn, which is Courtney's best friend. So those are the two characters in the book. Those other two characters in the book. And they actually end up going out throughout the book, but it's going to go over that in the whole book. Um, I'm not going to give away the ending. I'm not going to give away any big events in the book because you, it's, it, it's a, it's a pretty like, well, it's not suspenseful, like, it's not like a suspense book, but for me, my opinion, it was a really good book, and like, you're sitting there reading the book, and like, you hear both sides of the story, so you're like, Courtney thinks this about, Courtney thinks Jordan doesn't care, but Jordan really does care, and he has to lie to her for some reason, and she's like, you have, you like, want to scream at the book and tell him, just tell them what you're feeling. But that's just me, because I kind of get into books a lot. So, yeah, that is the review on Two-Way Street by Lauren Barnhold, I think. Um, you can go pick it up at your local bookstore. I got mine at Barnes & Noble, so probably yours will have it too. Um, but pretty much any local bookstore around you will probably have it, or library. So thanks for watching, and look out for next week's review on a book. And that will be Stealing Heaven by Elizabeth Scott. I will talk to you guys later. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. And leave any comments on any books that you want me to re review for you. Or ask me if I've read any books because I probably have. So I will talk to you guys later.